people. Well, today I received this package. This wonderful, exciting looking package. I just love all the detail on it, which I'm going to try and show you. All these um, stamps and custom slips, just from the outside of the packet, you can see what a history there is inside. This is the travelling painting. I'm going to take it out and have a look at it. Travelling painting project. And wow, look at this. What an amazing, beautiful piece of work. And it has many more countries to see. So far it's been to... It started with the Dali Goddess, Kim, yourself obviously. Um, Travelled to Lisa Lulu Fufu. After that went to Jared Knight. Jared Knight sent it to Rob, Rob Lee Poppart in the UK. Rob sent it on to Tamara Laporte, who is also known as Willowing. Um, Tam sent it to me, and I had it in uh, July of 2008. I sent it on to Gary, Gary Reef in Norway. Gary sent it on to David Arundel, also known as eTourist on uh, YouTube in South Australia. Who sent it to Melissa Kershaw, our friend Melanian Spots in New Zealand. From there, it went to Marieke. Marieke Blockland, I hope I'm saying that right, um, in the Netherlands, who sent it to another friend of ours in the Netherlands called Puppy Zawal or Henk Jan Becker. Um, it was subsequently sent then to Sweet Isabella back to the UK. From there it was sent to Ireland to James Beddo Boy and he sent it to Sammy Hancock in the UK and Sammy sent it back to me recently. So that's its journey so far. Okay, so Kim, what is the Travelling Painting Project? How, how did it start? Where did you get the idea from? And uh, what, when did you actually start this painting out on its journey? Well, the Travelling Painting is just that. It's a Travelling Painting. And uh, how it got started was years ago when I first moved to Florida, I was kind of lonely when I first got down there. So I, I painted something and I sent it to a, a friend of mine who was also another artist and told her to paint a little on it and send it back to me. And so we did that for a while. It was just a way of connecting with other artists, you know. And so when I got on YouTube, I thought, wow, look at all the artists here. Let's let's get something going here on YouTube. And the painting can go to every country in the world. And that's my wish for it to visit every single country in the world because I've always wanted to travel. And um, I thought, why not live vicariously through a traveling painting? The exact date when this traveling painting started was October 27th, 2007, because I made a little postcard thanking everyone who participated in advance to all artists, every state, every country on planet Earth. So Kim, tell me, if an artist wants to get involved in this project, how can they get involved? What do they have to do? Just make an I want it video, just a simple video saying, I want it and then upload it to your channel on YouTube and attach it as a video response to this video right here. And all the rules and regulations are listed in the sidebar on that video. So just read through it. They're pretty simple. And Kim, tell us all, um, when an artist actually does get involved in this project and receives the painting, what is it that they are expected to do? The artist is expected to be prepared to paint on the painting as soon as they receive it. The painting has been held up in different places for three and four months at a time, and at this rate, it's gonna, not going to make it around the world before I die. <laughs> Can you give them any guides and ideas of, of how to handle being part of this project? Well, yeah, just have fun with it. Treat it as a visitor that is traveling the world because that is exactly what it's doing. So if you want to take it to a museum or take it to your favorite restaurant, do. 
because we want to see your town. We want to see your country. And don't forget to video the process, the process of you painting and the process of you taking the painting around your town. Okay, Kim. When um, an artist has actually participated in this project, um, what should the artist then do with the video that they make of the experience that they've had? With it. Well, again, they would upload their video to YouTube and then they would attach it here and take a photograph of the work they've done on the painting and send me a message on YouTube and I will give you my email address so that you can email me the JPEG of your work. Kim, I know this project has been going now for quite some time, I think maybe nearly three years, two or three years. How do you see the future of it? What kind of... Um... What kind of future do you see for the project? Well, as we all know, it is the journey, not the destination. However, I have gotten very excited lately because I've decided that the, this project needs a book or maybe even several books done about it by the time the end of it all. So, you know, I had always foreseen the painting just to continue to travel and travel and travel, but at some point it's probably going to be so heavy with paint that it would cost a fortune just to send through the post. So maybe by that point we can start to have um, exhibitions and have video machines set up showing the different artists and them doing their work and the videos that they made for this project. And I, I want all the proceeds to go to an, a charity for artists in need. And uh, Gary Reef uh, on his Ning.com he is a very good artist charity and that's where we're going to start. So yeah, we're going to have a book or several books and perhaps in the end, maybe the uh, painting can go on traveling the world through exhibition, which I think would just be fantastic. I'm really excited and I hope to get other people ex as, as excited as I am with this project. Oh, so you want to create a book, maybe even an exhibition. That's a fantastic idea. It would be brilliant if the painting does go to all the parts of the world. And the book, that's a fantastic idea. Can you just give us an idea as if, if people want to be involved in the book project, what would you need from participating artists who want to be part of that? Well, for the book, I'd like to see each artist submit a photograph of themselves and a bio, letting us know uh, what type of medium they work in, how long they've been an artist, etc., etc. And I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who's participated in this journey with me so far and welcome all new artists to this project because it's going to be fantastic and it's going to just go on and on and it's going to help artists in need all around the world. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And thank you, Mary, for this interview. Mwah. Well... I just want to finish by saying thank you so much to everybody who's already painted on this uh, travelling painting. I've enjoyed it so much. It seems a long time ago since I had the painting, but I know it will travel to many more countries and give a lot of pleasure to a lot more people. So I'd just like to say thank you, Kim, for this project. It's a fantastic one. And thank you to everyone who's been involved so far. And hopefully we'll get lots more people involved. <music> David Gawler. Uh, sorry, he was in Gawler. Oh, uh, that's compressive. Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Oh, bollocks. For the book. Ugh. And so the book. Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Had a little bio about themselves. Ugh.